welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video was put on my heart. I kept thinking about it yesterday on my way home from my last day of work. Let me uh, remind you guys, this was my last week of work this week. And I'm super excited about it. It's, I guess, scary, exciting, all in one. Um, so hopefully there's going to be more uh, videos. If there's not, then something's wrong with me because I'll have more time. So there will be more videos. Um, I want to start doing all types of stuff, cooking, everything. I want to start doing makeup looks because now I'm going to actually have time to sit down and apply. Because when I do makeup, I like to do makeup. I don't like to do like your your little five-minute routine and walk out the door. That I just like to play and whatever. So it's kind of like the little girl in me comes out and I like to play dress up with makeup. Anyway, the whole point of this um, video is I wanted to do another word for the day video. And the last one I did was the word for the day was support. And I gave you guys some links to some YouTubers and asked you guys to go support their channels, told you um, how I felt about the people and all that. So this time the word for the day is you. Yes, you. Why owe you watching this video right now? You. Okay? And the reason that this, um, I feel like, needs to be said, recorded, watched, all of that, is because this has been such a big week. So, um, a lot has happened. So, yesterday was my last day of work. Yay for that. Um bittersweet because you miss the people you I mean hopefully if you like the people you work with I did like the people I worked with so I will miss them a ton I'm just not gonna miss the work I'm not gonna miss the stress I'm not gonna miss getting up in the morning you get it but I am gonna miss the paycheck that's the one part that freaks me out but God's will God's way he'll provide and so anyway so what happened was Thursday, I had a going away. And it was me and another coworker because he was leaving. I was leaving Friday and he was leaving the Monday following. So um, <clears throat> anyway, and then the going aways. Okay, let me back it up. So I, um, this has been a long time coming. Let me help explain it to you. So I was in the military. I don't ever really talk about this. So if you don't know. Now you know, yeah, Gina was in the military. How cute. Just kidding. But no, I just don't really talk about it. But I was in the military for 14 years. When I got out of the military, I took a week off and then started this job I've been at. So I did not take, like, people take breaks. They're like, oh my God, I've been at this job so long. Let me take a month, whatever. I took a week off and started a new job. And um, I basically moved from the building I was in to the building across the street on the same base, doing basically the same job just for different people. And um, my uniform changed, I guess you could say. I became civilian attire instead of military attire. And so I stuck with that job almost three years. And I guess that's all I've known is working, working, working. And I've been working since I was 14. That was when I got my first job. And anyway, so yeah, I've been around the government, um, doing government-related work for almost 17 years now. And me taking a step away or a leap or whatever you want to say was scary. Like, this is something new for me. Like, stay-at-home mom? What? Like... I was so envious at stay-at-home moms. Not that I think your jobs are easy, because I'm never going to say that. I know it's not easy, but I just, I want to sleep in sometimes. You know, I want to get to enjoy the summers with my kids and things like that. So anyways, I was just always worried about finances and what if something goes wrong? What if this happens? And I've always been such a faithful person, but for some reason... That was the one thing I never could put in God's hands. And I've, I've realized that. Like, I just couldn't do it. So, anyway, okay, okay. So, there's that. So, y'all know I ramble, so I'm sorry. I just had to give you the backstory. So, Thursday rolls around. We have the going away, which I didn't really want because I hate, like, being in a room with lots of attention. Like, makes me want to pass out. I can't stand crowded rooms anyway, let alone 
having people all staring at me or me having to talk to them. So, so at this, it, it was a special operations university that I worked for. And basically they teach all the special operations people in the military various things. They come there and they learn and blah, blah, blah. And I did their budget. So normally when there's going away, since it is a university and primarily people are professors, instructors, they give them books and things <laughs> like that. Well, I did their budget. I'm not teaching anybody. I'm not a professor. I'm not a PhD. No, I have my bachelor's, but that's about it, girl. So, um, they gave me three gifts and you know, they're kind of cheesy and that's how they are there, which is also why I like them so much. But I want you, because keep in mind, the theme of this video is you, okay? So it got me thinking because I was taking this whole leap of faith, finally trusting God to get me through and help me follow this new um, chapter in my life, right? All right, so the first gift, they gave me flowers, which obviously this is Saturday, so... They look how they look now, but it doesn't matter. You get the point. They're really cute, okay? So what I took away from this just as a meaning, maybe I'm going too deep, but just this symbolism, okay? So when I think of what people give you in a going away or just gifts in general, usually is how they think of you or what they think you would like or things like that so when i when i saw the flowers i had never seen them give anybody flowers before so that was really cool but when i think of flowers i think of the fact that they come in different shapes different sizes different smells but they always seem to brighten your day right and so i hope that i did that for them or like over those years or whatever but more so, um, I feel like it was time, me, me starting this new chapter in my life and finally pursuing what makes me happy, which the theme is you. So this is what, this was me thinking of me, which I was you, okay? Is how could I become this flower? How could I bloom? How could I blossom? And then the fact that flowers have this limited, you know, they bloom. And then what happens? Then they slowly die. And I'm not trying to be dramatic and say, oh my God, you're going to die. I'm just saying, with the limited time we have on this earth and life being short, what are you going to do to maximize your bloom? And are you doing that right now? Because I wasn't. I was going to work every day. I was like, I'm not happy. I don't like this job. Like I'm doing travel vouchers, great, but am I serving a purpose? I'm, do I feel like I'm really helping people? Am I? And I, no, the answer was no. It wasn't, it, I didn't feel like I was reaching my blossom, my bloom, okay? So that's what I wanted to point out. That was my gift number one, okay? <clears throat> I know that you're probably like, she's cheesy, but for me, this is how I thought about it on the way home, okay? Then the second thing is, okay, so this man gave me this book and he said that, um, cause there was a group of us that sat in cubicles, right? Cause a lot of the instructors, researchers, all that, they all had the big offices and then we had our little cubicles, right? <laughs> so those of us in the cubicles, we'd sit out there and we'd have our, did you hear this happen or that? And we'd talk about just randomness, right? So he gave, he said he was going to give me a book because they always gave away books, but it was usually instructor type of books. So this was my book, and it was the Totally Awesome Book of Useless Information. And I just thought that was funny. And the thing is, like, it's me. Like, that. this is why I'm on YouTube. Like, I'm here to try to make your day, and hopefully you make my day, and vice. You know, it, it's just a give give situation and i watch other youtubers and stuff and i don't know i just for me like the, the this is what makes me the random person that i am 
And this is usually what people like about me. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying, find who you are and the talents and the things that people enjoy about you. And that's going to lead you closer to your dreams and your potential. Me, I've always owned the fact that I'm random. I know I'm random. I know I ramble, whatever. This book is me. I'm the little squirrel on the skateboard, <laughs> if you will, or whatever. What would your book say? You, what would your book say? Okay. And then lastly, this lady came up to me right before the going away. And she wanted to give me this in private. And... I thought it was so perfect. So, I'm going to share this with you. Look at this beautiful bracelet, guys. And you see it has a ladybug on the tip. So, let me read you what it says. It says, you'll be missed. Through the ages, Amazonite has been worn to promote courage, success, and hope. The perfect stone for beginning a new chapter in your life. And the tiny ladybug is a cherished symbol of good luck across the world. May wearing this bracelet bring you much joy on your new path. And may it bring you fond memories and remind you how much you are missed. So what better way to start my new journey than to start wearing this bracelet? And I just thought it was perfect. Everything they gave me was so symbolic to me. They'll probably never realize it, but it's true. And so, this is how I'm going to close out the video. And this is the sad part for me. So, all of this I want you to take away as you, you, you. What would your gifts be if you were starting the journey to happiness and what you want to do? Like, what... What symbolizes you? Like, what makes you blossom? What makes you your best? What would you like to do in the short time you have? Are you random? Are you, what is, what would your book be about? Would you wear this new bracelet and start a new chapter in your life? Or have you already started it? Okay. So this was Thursday evening. I came home. I was so happy. I'm like, one more day, one more wake up, and I'm done with work, right? And so late that night, I'm laying in bed, watching YouTube, going through my Instagram, whatever. Same old, same old, like I always do. And I'm just like so happy, like one more day. And so like I said, and this is what ties it all back in. So one of the people I knew from my 14 years in the military messaged me and tells me that one of my co-workers from back then lost his life this week. So, um, this is a part that's hard. So, I, I guess it like, I just kept thinking of myself that night. I was tossing and turning. I had a hard time sleeping. And I just kept thinking like, dang, like, how unfair, like I'm starting a new chapter. Literally tomorrow is my last day of work and this guy's book just closed of his life. And I, and I, I don't know, things like that just always make you think. And then, you know, I pray for the family. I did like, you know, my post tribute to him on Instagram and thought about it and thought about it and then it hit me friday like i actually like i feel i mean i'm not how do i put this he left this earth way too soon he was younger than me great guy but he had it figured out because the one thing i can say about him was he always chased his dreams he always went after happiness and he knew the meaning of you, which is what I'm trying to tell you. And so by the time he passed away in his life, which was younger than me, younger than some of you, he had already been there, done that, found the love of his life, pursued the jobs he wanted, lived in Hawaii like twice, 
lived in Minnesota, Mississippi. Like, he just did it all, and that was him. Like, he just was that guy that was not afraid to take a leap of faith and just see what happens. And um, I can honestly say, like, knowing him made me a better person. And the fact that it was him who passed and not somebody who was still stuck and struggling, like the fact that it was him, like I know he went out of this world a happy person who had already figured it out. And um, I just wish that for all of you. I want people to be able to say, no matter what age you're at, that person was happy. They lived their best life. And so I just want you to reflect right now and look at you, look at yourself and say, Am I there? Am I at that point in my life? And if you're not, change it. Because like I said, we only bloom for so long. And um, I just want that for all of you. I want everybody to bloom. I want everybody to find their happiness. And if it's not where you're at, whether it's your job, your relationship, your financial situation, I'm not saying get up and just leave. I'm saying where there's a will, there's a way. Find the way. Pray about it. Meditate on it. Whatever you got to do. But do it. Stop making excuses. If you're somebody who says, I want to start a YouTube channel. I, I just have so many ideas and I think I can do it. But I don't have a camera. I don't have the lighting. I don't have this. I don't have that. I have a ring light, and if y'all watch any of my unboxing videos, my ring light ruins my unboxing videos. It puts a glare every time I try to show y'all a product. So don't let a ring light fool you. If you go watch my friend um, Doing Life with Miranda, she does unboxing. She doesn't have a ring light. She has amazing lighting and windows, and hers like 10 times better than mine. So don't let these things stop you. If there's something you want to do, Stop making excuses. The only person getting in your way is you. So that's how I'm going to end this video. Rest in peace, Ryan. You will truly be missed. May your light shine in heaven as bright as it did here on earth. We love you. And it was a pleasure knowing you. And thank you for making everybody's lives better who knew you. And anyways, guys, don't forget you can't spell original without Gina. I hope this video did something, touched you, enlightened you. If not, I don't think you were paying attention. So love you guys till the next video.